first 10 minutes. I thought uh, we kind of fell asleep for the last uh, 10 minutes of the first. However, I think the guys had a good second period. Uh, a couple calls went against us, and we had some very, very timely penalty killing. And I really liked the third. I thought the third, that was uh, reminiscent of a lot of efforts last year at the Songus Arena in third period. So uh, hopefully we can build off that. Questions on Joe Gambell at your center or John Edward on your right? John, can you walk us through your goal? Uh, yeah, I thought Lowen made a good play, kind of chipping it out of the zone there on the penalty kill. And then uh, saw a little bit of daylight and uh, tried to take the puck to the net. And it worked out. Joe, can you do the same thing, please? Uh, yeah, uh, Guillaume made a good play coming back, getting the puck stopped. Pushed it back to our defenseman, Dylan Zink, and Zink threw it up in the air, and I was just trying my best to, to beat the guy and just took a shot, and luckily it went in. It looked like you were just stride for stride with him, and then you just really put on the Jets. Oh, I just I was just trying my best uh, just to get there first, just to get a touch. How much do the two of you guys work on, on scoring shorthanded goals, and, and how much of an emphasis is that for you? <laughs> I mean, uh, we, have an, we have an aggressive penalty kill, so we're always kind of – Thinking about that, but first of all, first and foremost, we, we're thinking about killing the penalty, obviously. But we have the green light if we see fit. Uh, Joe, I think two years ago you had three short goals. Uh, the team, I think you had three yourself. Did you see that correctly on the, the stats? And uh, is there is there some way to predict short-handed goals? I mean, do they come in bunches? Do they get hit in runs? Or? No, I just think to go off what Eddie said, uh, we work a lot on special teams in practice and. We just try to get the get to pucks first, and when we can be aggressive, we can. You know, uh, special teams obviously a big part of the game, so we try to put a good emphasis on it. More questions for the players? Is there, uh, John? Is, is there any more? It only counts as one goal, but is there uh, when you score shorthanded? Is there any other? Is, is there a factor beyond the mere one goal? Does it uh, give emphasis to the team? Does it does it feel like one on one goal? Or? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if anyone gets a short-handed goal, it's a big boost for us, obviously. And uh, like we said, uh, we were always kind of looking for it, and it's definitely a boost. Did you sense that they uh, they sagged at all after, mm -hmm. uh, after the, I guess, after your short-handed goal first? And then the uh, yeah, it was def I think definitely a momentum shift in the game, for sure. Anything else for the players? We'd love to get back. Thank you, guys. More questions for Coach? Coach, can you talk about your emphasis on, on uh, special teams? And in particular, it seems like other than that one year, one year, I think two years ago, you, you, your team scored 10 shorthanded goals. But other than that, you get a fair amount, but it's not like it's a paramount concern. It does seem as though it's still as defense first. Yeah, I don't know if you uh, you go out to score a shorthanded goal, but if you have the mentality to be aggressive, uh, they usually come as a result. And uh, Gambardella's goal, I felt, was uh, a backbreaker for the opposition. I thought that was vintage Gambardella, second effort throughout. And uh, not to take anything away from Eddie, you know, that was certainly deflating, but the backbreaker was certainly Gambo's goal. Coach uh, Mark talked about you know, how impressed he was with your ability to get to loose bucks and, you know, win those battles. It seemed like besides those couple minutes at the end, you guys, you know, capitalized and, you know, really did win those races to those loose bucks. Well, that's nice to hear because I think he's got a heck of a hockey team. You know, he, uh, they took care of uh, two hockey's opponents at home very well last week because that's the pre-scout that I had to watch. And, uh, you know, they're very aggressive. Maybe we have a, a little bit bigger sheet than they do at Appleton uh, in any event. We know we were in for a hockey game, and uh, you know to hear that from an opposing coach, I think they got a heck of a hockey team too. So it's it's good to hear. I thought we limited to uh, 13 shots with eight power plays. That's uh, quite a feat. You know, there's a lot of power plays and, and and penalty kill situations in the game right now, the way it's called in the early going, and uh, that's what I was most pleased with is is an ability to manage the special teams tonight because there's lots of them. Is it uh, the way you just came back? I mean, you kind of dominated the first half. Yeah, that's going to be necessary. There's a bunch of momentum shifts in, in hockey over the course of a season. So you, you want to find out and, and you want your guys to be resilient. And uh, 
persevere through some of those momentum shifts. So you actually expect some of those things, especially when you get into penalty trouble. We, we killed four straight tonight, and I thought one of the keys to the game was some, some key blocks by all types of guys, upperclassmen as well as uh, underclassmen. And we have several freshmen killing penalties. So I thought that was a big momentum shift and, and inspiring. You know, anybody who blocks a shot or scores a shorty, very inspiring for the rest of the team. Tyler's usually not known for his offense, more kind of a shutdown guy, but, you know, is it good for you to see him, you know, step into the offense? And, you know, what can you just say about his overall game? Yeah, Tyler Mueller may not be known as an offensive defense because he's got some pretty good ones in zinc and caps and, and uh, those guys. But he's got better, better skill than you think. You know, and that could come later in his career like it is this year and maybe next. It's, he's got pretty good hands. So it, it doesn't surprise me because I see it in practice um, you know, every day. So um, I think he'll con continue to contribute because he plays a lot. Anything else for Coach? That's it. Thanks. Thanks.